All right, ladies and gentlemen, between the hustle and bustle of all the new content that came with the launch of Witch Queen inside of Destiny 2, a new XP cheese has been discovered for the new destination, Savathun's Throne World. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how long this is going to be in the game for because, well, it's like literally broken. So uh, do this while you can. Seriously, drop what you're doing and get this done. I'm going to keep the intro short, but if you're new to the channel and you enjoy my videos or find them useful, then feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's get into it. So Savathun's Throne World is the new destination that launched alongside Witch Queen. And just like every other destination, it has its own vendors and that vendor has its own reputation ranking system. Getting your Throne World reputation rank up offers a plethora of new things from additional power sources, pinnacle sources, higher difficulty missions and activities, new weapons, armor, etc. And getting your throne world leveled up takes time as there's 30 levels in total, though you can technically go past that, but after 30, you just get like engrams. So in order to start this XP cheese, you first need to be level 15 in the throne world and grab the deep sight upgrade tier three from Finch. Now, hold on. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Wait, I have to be level 15 to even start doing this. That doesn't make sense. And yeah, I know it kind of sucks, but once you're at level 15, getting to level 30 will literally happen in the blink of an eye. If you aren't quite at level 15 yet, well, here's some tips on how to get there pretty fast. First, go to the throne world and pick up all the bounties from Finch. Then equip the Wombo Detector Ghost Show mod on your ghost. Then immediately head to wherever the nearest public event is. While you're waiting for the public event, begin doing patrols. You're going to be multitasking hardcore here. While you're waiting for the public event or waiting for one to spawn, you're going to be doing patrols, finding resources and cash. Thanks to the Wombo Detector Ghost Mod, they'll pop up on your screen. You literally can't miss them and completing your bounties. Then when the public event begins, do it. After that, it's just rinse and repeat. Random caches, resources and repeatable bounties give 20 XP. Patrols give 40 XP. Daily bounties give 50 XP. If you manage to kill a high value roaming target, AKA like the light wielding hive, the chest they drop give 60 XP and public events give around 120-ish XP. Can't think of the exact amount off the top of my head, but it'll be on screen. Doing all this will increase how fast you're leveling up by a lot. From zero to 15, it should take you around three to four hours. And I know that can sound like a lot, but once you're at 15, getting to 30 is a breeze. Okay, so once you're at level 15, let's start the cheese. You're gonna wanna hop on your sparrow and head to where I'm heading on your screen. From here, head to where I'm going on your screen and activate this deep sight. A chest will then spawn above you, hop on up to it. This chest gives, and wait for it, 200 XP. From here, jump down and head through the big red portal that you passed on your way in. Once through the portal, head over to where I'm going and activate Deep Sight again. Then shoot the lanterns in the order that I'm shooting them. Another 200 XP chest will spawn. Run back to the portal, hop on your sparrow because uh, how sparrows work, they just don't despawn anymore and ride back to the load zone. Once you hit this loading screen, turn around 
and do it all again. This normally takes about a minute per run and at 400 XP per run, that's over 20,000 XP an hour. And Throne World ranks only take 1,000 XP per rank until you pass level 30, then they go up to 2,000. So it took you three to four hours to get to 15, well, then getting to 30, doing it all again, will take you under an hour. This cheese is just a really good way to go ahead and knock out the Throne World and unlock all it has to offer. Also, not to mention while you're doing this, you're gonna be getting Throne World weapons and armor from these chests. And yes, they can be red border weapons. I went over red border weapons and the entirety of crafting in my last video. So if crafting is still confusing for you, check out that video. It'll be linked below. And that's the Throne World XP cheese. Like I said, do this while you can. If a quest comes up in the future and it's tied to Throne World upgrades or whatever it might be, you'll be glad that you went ahead, got it out of the way and got yours ranked up. But with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then feel free to drop a like and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.